We welcome a very, very special guest. Drum roll, please. President Cruz. There's a very special update for you all this week. This is kind of big news. Um, I'm trying to write. This past Monday, in the Student Government Senate of Trine University, we passed a pretty big deal that allows organizations to spend $2,500 a semester instead of $2,000. Oh. Expect more decai wings, more sig up sliders, and just more f free events at Trine University. I'm very, very excited. That used to be about 50 Little Caesars pizzas before they raised prices. Wow. Think about the capabilities. Think about what you as the viewer could do with 50 Little Caesars pizzas. You say 50? <laughs> Not anymore, but it used to be. Well, think of what you could do with 40 Little Caesars pizzas <laughs> and, and a good time. I mean, possibilities are endless. All right, thank you, Mr. President. Of course, of course. Welcome back, folks, to Cafeteria Drama. No omelets again this week. It was very sad. But they did a breakfast sandwich bar this past week, and it was pretty good. I, I tried it. It was good. Be quiet in there! Also, one of my superior officers got over 12 pieces of bacon. 12 pieces of bacon. 12 pieces of bacon the last time we went to breakfast. That was a lot of bacon. Uh, shakes are back. American night at the depot. They were scrum diddly umptious. And finally, the Bon Appetit Committee has met, and things are cooking. Ooh. That's all I got. Roll Tide, brother. <sighs> Adam Answers Yes, sponsored by... All right, Adam, what do you got for the quote of the week this week? So, quote of the week this week comes from the Chemical Engineering Department. I mean, we've had, this, is a, this is a recurring person who has had a couple quotes on the show. Uh, the quote is... I thought I heard somebody say something, or maybe that was just the voices in my head. <laughs> now that quote comes from the same person who had the award-winning quote on Bukov News of, not only is my internet connection a little unstable, I'm a little unstable. <laughs> so, some, something's going on, and I need to get to the bottom of it. Alright, thank you. Yes. Welcome back, guys, to Getting Educated with yours truly. Hope you had another amazing, wonderful, educated week. Now, this week, I have some random facts for you. Hopefully, you enjoy them as much as I did. The first one is, on a chef's hat, there's a hundred folds. Each fold represents a way to cook an egg. Bro. Who knew that? Bro. Right? Another weird but interesting fact. The hashtag symbol is technically called an octothorpe. Who knew? Who came up with that? Sounds pretty dumb, but there you go. Hey, learn some more stuff. Get educated. Write in the comments below if you want to educate me on anything. Have a good week, guys. Stay on the grind. Thank you. Brody. Would you like to give some... What's going on, guys? It's your boy, JP Brody, coming at you with the non entry new of the week. It's fall break here, our last fall break here, unless it's not your last fall break here. We got Monday and Tuesday off of classes. The big news, always after fall break, you gotta be ready. Class registry for the spring is out. So get ready to plan your schedules for next semester. Those advising meetings are going to be happening when we get back. Okay, have a great break. That's a lot of mustache. That way. All right, folks. We got Mr. Denniston here in CEO Stuff with T. Ravis's room. And what do you got for us this week? So my candidate to be the next president of trying this week is the current governor of Indiana, Eric Holcomb, um, there's, he, let's, what can I say? He's been a good governor. Uh, he knows that Trine exists. That's a good positive. <laughs> I've seen him speak at Trine before. So clearly he knows that Trine exists. Um, and I've heard he's had a lot of communication with Trine. So there you go. Uh, 
some downsides that might prevent him from being the next president of trying is that um, he isn't term limited until 2024, <laughs> which means that he would have to resign from the, being the governor of Indiana. But, I mean, he's already going to leave anyway, so that might be a good reason. And uh, he probably could make a lot more money somewhere else, and he probably doesn't want to be the president of Indiana. I haven't reached out for a comment from him, but he probably wouldn't contact me back. So that's what I've got for you this week. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, folks. I'd like to give a special so shout-out to the random dude in the link who somehow knew right where I left my headphones in Best Hall, and, you know, that probably saved me about 60 bucks. And, you know, it was just crazy. He was just... I was asking the people in the link if they had seen this headphone case because I thought I might have left it in there. And he just comes up from the computer and he's like, bro, I seen this. They're in the best hall bathroom. Go check. And I did. And they were there. So big shout out to that guy. I don't know if he watches Book Off News or not, but thank you. Take it easy.